Welcome once again to another episode of Stu Him Productions presents JM Solve the World Alcohol, Alcohol Review. Review. I am James. And I am Matt. And tonight we are spotlighting a uh, company oh. out of uh, Pembroke, Kentucky. Oh, yeah. Uh, right outside of Fort Campbell. Cool. Uh, we are tonight drinking the mint julep. Uh, I have had their pink lemonade, their mint julep, uh, their St. Elmo's Fire, because um, they're kind of in a little bird called St. Elmo. Mm. Um, and, of course, their white lightning. Uh, uh, just a straight. Oh. Mm. 101 proof. Just 101 proof? Yeah. Really? Well, no, there's a story behind that. Okay. So the gentleman that started MB Rolling, and this is rumored, he was part of the uh, 2nd Battalion 506 Infantry Regiment. Uh, you may have heard of him on a little uh, mini series on HBO called uh, Band of Brothers. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, Bings, he was in the 101st, 101 proof. Oh, okay. But that 50.5% uh, alcohol, mm -hmm. if you do the tour, which they give tours of the distillery mm -hmm. and everything, and then you can do a tasting, and they tell you, if you want to try the White Lightning, you do it last. Mm. Because it will f fucking destroy your taste buds. Right. Oh, yeah. Um. Yeah, you got you got to set your palate. Yes, and if you destroy it, that that'd be like eating the hottest hot wings, and then going back and saying, "Oh, I'll try these spicy barbecue wings." Yeah. You'd be like going, ah, "I can't taste shit." Yeah. <laughs> um. So I've got a bottle that's shaped like this, only bigger, mm -hmm. uh, and it has the Curry logo uh, etched into it, and it says Curry. Uh, and then I have their older bottle, which is uh, a little bit of a squatter, squattier bottle, but it's, it's, it's rounder. Right. Uh, same thing. So, um, but tonight without further ado, um, Ooh, I get the evil one tonight. Yes. Yes. So a little bit of uh MB rolling mint julep. Mint julep. Salud. Salud. A little bit of a, uh, uh, for me, a okay. little bit of a burn on the back mm -hmm. end. Yeah. J just just a tad. Not bad. Um, it's not like uh, Devil's Double. No. Burn. <laughs> no. Um, yeah. Nope. It's not there. <laughs> uh, but you can definitely tell, You can, I can definitely taste the mint. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Which in and itself is funny because people say, oh, the more you smoke, you, you lose your taste buds. You lose your sense of smell. Okay. When's that supposed to happen? Right. Um, I mean, I didn't smoke anything for 10 years, and I don't... Well, I did notice that my uh, sense of, like, salt mm -hmm. and stuff... Yeah. ...really increased. I mean, what normally I would salt fries and yeah. whatever I didn't need to, mm -hmm. you know? But since I've been smoking these cigars for the last... I don't know how many years it's like I've I've really kind of stuck to that. I don't really yeah. add a lot of salt and stuff, but when, I, I, I yeah. you know, I and I'm sure that yes, your sense of taste and smell right would be a lot better if you had never smoked. Yeah, but anything. How can you tell though? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Um but okay, what are your thoughts? It's okay. Yeah. Um I wouldn't want to sit and drink it all night long. No, it, it's definitely. You know, as far as, you know, like sitting here doing a podcast. And to me, to me, when I, when it first hit the back of my throat and everything, because mm -hmm. I, I, I held it back there a little bit to taste it, not just right. to down a shot. Right. Um, it was, my first sense was lemonade. Okay. It had it had like a lemonade flavor to it, but then 
like you say, the mint kind of took over yep. and everything. Yep. And it's good. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. I, you know, but like I say, I wouldn't want to. No. I mean, it, it wouldn't be my drink of choice to sit down and drink. No. During but, a podcast. Um, now, <coughs> we did have this in the freezer. Right. Uh, we have found out that a lot of the alcohols that we do uh, enjoy mm-hmm. are just better cold. Right. Um, and, yeah, because we had it when it wasn't cold. Right. And then we put it in the freezer, and it sat in there and coming out, taking shots and everything. Mm-hmm. And, I mean, we didn't do full-size shots because we didn't have a lot left. Right. And... Um, we're not going to Kentucky anytime soon. Not planning on it. No. No. Um, not unless so, we go see Nash in Tennessee, then we're oh, closer. Fuck. Then we'll have to, have to well, head down there. We, you know? we have to drive right by it. Exactly. So drive right through it. What on the thumb scale, what are you giving it? Um, going by what I did last week mm-hmm. on our um, – Rock and, Rock and roll tequila. tequila. Yep. I like that better. So I'd have to give it a one and a quarter thumb. One and a quarter thumb. Yeah. Okay. Um I you know what? I'm Yeah. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a, a, a one and a quarter thumb. Yeah. So combined, two and a half thumbs. Two and a half thumbs. And um but again, we just we just had a very little bit, right? And you know, it, it honestly, if you pour that over ice, mm-hmm. just sit there and drink. I I'm sure it'd be. It, it's just yeah. It's just not me, right? You so know, the I, the tequila, like you say, was your your criticism on it was it was too sweet. Yes. I get that, mm-hmm. but I could, and, and I did later on in a podcast. Yeah, I poured it over ice and sat there and sipped on that, and right, yeah, I, I it it could get dangerous. Yes, I don't. To me, this could not get dangerous. It's just just because the flavor right. that I prefer. This mm-hmm. is nothing against the company. I mean, it's right. it's good. Right, I would recommend anybody to try it that that likes. Moonshine or, or mm-hmm. just just yeah. like alcohol, you know, give it a try. Right. You know, that's up to you. To me, it's not something that I would want to sit and just sip on Here, all night. Here's what I see. You get done cutting the grass. Right. And then it starts raining. Mm-hmm. You pour two fingers mm-hmm. over ice. Mm-hmm. And then you sit out on the porch as it's cooling down, the rain's coming down, right? And you're just especially it, after it's been like 100 degrees, like it's been here the last few. Yes, and and few that's days. the thing is, right. uh, they have a thing or, in the f- fall, I think it is, called picking on the porch, mm-hmm. and because the it's an old farm. Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah. They, okay, they don't have a picture there, but uh, it's an old farmhouse. With farm and everything, and they grow everything. Lo- everything is local, mm-hmm. and they've got a little porch, right? And, and they'll have a couple of bluegrass pickers or whatnot. Right. And everybody sits out on the lawn, and you're drinking. And of course, you know the most famous event to drink mint juleps at Kentucky Derby. The Kentucky Derby. <gasps> what? Uh, Kentucky Derby, yeah. and this is Kentucky. Uh, yeah. Wow. Um, who would have thought? Who would have thunk it, right? Right. <laughs> um, but no, I mean, I you know, I'd recommend anybody to try it. Yes. Like I say, it's not something that, like right now, I'm getting mm-hmm. a little aftertaste, and, yeah. and and that's okay. Yeah. But it's just not something I would want to sit around and drink all the time. Right. But, yeah, you know, what we've been doing the last, well, since you brought it back. Yeah, yeah. Sure, you know. Yeah. A, a a shot here here or there, mm-hmm. yeah. Um, Great, and 
you know, if we do end up going to Nashville mm -hmm. uh, and we do end up stopping, uh, obviously we will. Well, yeah. Uh, we will get a small bottle of White Lightning. I've got a bottle of White Lightning. Well, no. The, not not by it, these yeah, guys. It'd be rolling White Lightning. Yeah. Uh, stuff that somebody makes in their backyard, I'm not, I'm not trusting. I mean, well, you, first of all, it's more than 101 proof. Right. Right. But it's like 180. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, they're, they're well, also well, regulated. Th this is also regulated. Well, you know, you know, I've had a little problem with White Lightning in the past. Yeah. <laughs> we need to get him on here mm. with his different flavors. Hmm. That's okay. an idea. Yes. Because, yeah, he, yeah, he's got some different flavors, and uh, we could do a, a tasting of three, four, five yeah. different flavors. Yeah. It's made locally. Okay. Um, then Rob adds his different flavors, yep. like peach and almond and, mm -hmm. yeah. So it's pretty smooth, yeah. but yeah, there you go, it, folks. It, it, it can cause you to fall down an escalator. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, folks. Uh, MB Roland, uh, mint julep, two and a half thumbs, uh, from us. So, you know, uh, give it a try, give it a try. Yeah. Um, I know Macadoodles in Lee Summit. Mm -hmm. I know they carry uh, some of the MB Roland products. I'd say McAdoodles and Springfield probably carries it. Yeah. You know. Um, but uh, check out their website. I'll probably stick it somewhere around in here, the actual website. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it is it is a great, uh, it, not only a history lesson, mm -hmm. but a great lesson altogether. Right. Because, the, oh, and this is the best part. Their uh -oh. mash, mm -hmm. when they're done with it, right? They sell it to the local hog farmers. Oh, there you go. And then you know, sometime in the fall, they'll buy a couple of hogs mm -hmm. and smoke them. There you go. And yeah. and I mean, you can't go wrong. That's kind of like all the beechwood and Anheuser yep. Busch. Yep, just turned into mulch. Yep. Um. The uh, Jack Daniels barrels, because they they only use their barrels one time, mm -hmm. and they cut them up, and you can get them in uh, smoke chips. Right there, you go. So until next time, folks, uh, you've just watched another episode of Stu Him Productions presents Jam Solve the World Alcohol, Alcohol Review. Review. I've been James, <laughs> and I've been Matt. <laughs> And until next time, you keep one fist in the gold, one foot in the gutter, and we will be seeing you. Peace.